What is going to happen after you have the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease? What you should expect? What is your prognosis? This is what worry the most patients with Parkinson's disease, especially when they hear the words, you have Parkinson's disease. I will answer all these questions during this video. My name is Dr. Sayas. I'm a neurologist specialized in movement disorders. Let me start by making clear three major points. Number one, unfortunately, there is, this is a progressive disease. So, which means that we expect some progression. Otherwise, it's not Parkinson's disease, it's something else. Number two, even though that we don't have a cure, we have a lot of hope. And this is why it's so important for patients with Parkinson to be involved in clinical trials. That's, this is the only way to try to find out the cure of this disease. I like the, this quote that you guys see here, uh, which is, there is no worse that than the end of the hope. And the last point is we have medication to improve your quality of life significantly, but every patient is different. Every patient responds to medication totally different. Every patient is unique. If you ask me for prognosis, well, that depends on many, many factors. Um, the most important one is how is your general health? Um, do you have just Parkinson's disease or you have Parkinson's disease with heart attack, with a stroke, with the colon cancer, with kidney disease, with neuropathy? So it's not the same. Uh, it's not the same that just having Parkinson's disease or having Parkinson's disease and, and with many of these diseases. <clears throat> so very important to understand that point. Um, other factor is age. Um, patients with young onset of Parkinson's disease tend to have a better prognosis uh, when compared with uh, a late onset. In summary, good predictors that Parkinson's disease will have minimal impact on your quality of life for a long, long time are the following. Your general health, how active you are. If you have unilateral one side symptoms, uh, which means not too much, not too many axial symptoms. So when I say axial symptoms, is symptoms here in the trunk. Um, more tremors, better. Okay, remember that more tremors, better. When you don't have tremors, the prognosis tend to be worse. Okay, your age is not the same. It's not the same thing that having somebody with Parkinson's disease at age 28 that having Parkinson's disease at age 75, age 80. is not the same. Patients with early onset, they tend to have better prognosis. prognosis. They, they tend to do better. If you have, uh, another factor is, if you have problem with walking and balance, in other words, you have what we call postural instability, gait dysfunction, subtype, those patients tend to have more difficulties. If you ask me for how long you will live with Parkinson's disease, well, this is a very difficult question to answer because there are significant variability between patients. Every patient is totally different. Every patient is unique. Every patient has different comorbidities, which make the prognosis more difficult. However, just to give you an example, I have a patient diagnosed 43 years ago, and he's doing well. Uh, he's still taking levodopa, um, and he's uh, pretty functional. Several studies have concluded that patients with Parkinson's disease have nearly normal life expectancy. The reference are here below. By the way, do you know the life expectancy in U.S.? I'm talking about the general uh, population. Well, I will tell you the, the, the data. When, when you mix females and males, it's 79.1 years. 79.1 years. Females, um, very interestingly, 81.7 uh, years. And males, 76.6 .6 years. This is the statistic data is uh, available here.
Now, let's talk about, let me tell you something else. Um, those patients who started having symptoms 30, 20 years ago, they have a few things in common. They have tremor predominant Parkinson's disease, so mostly tremor. Uh, they have uh, they are in shape and doing a lot of exercises. They have a usually young young onset of Parkinson's disease, and they have no major cognitive impairment, and they don't have any other major cognition besides Parkinson's disease. And most importantly, they have a positive mindset. This is extremely important. They work very hard and they want to be outside of their comfort zone, which is a quality, very important quality to be successful in life in general. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.